where did I put it? Where is what I want? Ugh! What is happening to me? So, do you ever do your makeup? and get all the way through it, and then look at it, and decide that it's all wrong, and that you need to remove it, and delete the evidence, and wash it all off, and quit your day job, and die. Because that's what happened to me today. So, here we are. My face is freshly washed again. Um, and feeling, feeling a little defeated. So, instead of what I was originally doing, um, I'm going to make a video about eyebrows. Because everybody loves eyebrows and eyebrows are super popular now and everyone's like Emma how do you do your eyebrows and Emma do my eyebrows and eyebrows so let's do that um you're gonna need a couple things forgive the construction outside of my house because it's forever things you're gonna need um you're gonna start with a fun bun Preferably a drink, too, um, in case you get parched whilst doing your makeup. I'm gonna start with, you need two brushes, if you're gonna do it my way. But, I mean, if you don't want to do it my way, I mean, that's, that's cool, too. Uh, but, for my way, you're gonna need, first, a brush like this. It's it's angled on one side, focus on it. Angled on one side, spoolie on the other. And this brush is kind of like a it's like fluffier almost. And then you're gonna need another angle brush. And this one is the antithesis of the other one. This one's like really precise. It's very thin. And uh, it's good. It's Anyways, so you're gonna need those two brushes. You will need some brow powder. This is the Anastasia Brow Powder Duo in chocolate. You're gonna need some dip brow. It's dippy, dip dip. Um, this is the Anastasia Dip Brow in chocolate as well. Um. And then you're gonna need some stuff like this. This is the MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. I use this to like carve out the bottom of my brows and then eventually to prime the rest of my eye. Um, it's some good So let's, let's get started, shall we? First I'm gonna take the slightly fluffier angle brush and the brow powder duo. I'm gonna go in with this like lighter side. I can't really see. That's a lot more difficult than I anticipated. Um, the lighter side, and I'm just gonna like softly run this through the front of my brows. Don't you guys love how when you're like hanging out, trying to chill with some friends, maybe make some plans, no one hits you up. And then as soon as you start doing something like sleeping or filming, everybody hits you up. Anyways, then I'm just running through that with this boy. So I can soften it, make it look good. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna do the other one. So, once we've reached that point, then we're gonna take our other angle brush 
and our dip brow. And then I'm just gonna start kind of sculpting more precisely the tail end of my brow. So I start on the bottom and I kind of start with the bottom line right here. Then bring it out like that. And then I come up here. Oh! Anyways, I come up here like this. And then start filling it in, not putting any more product on my brush. Just filling it in and then gradually fading it out as we get towards where we applied the powder. Like that. And then I'm going to take that spoolie again, just run it through, soften everything, make it not so crazy. Um, like that. This isn't the brush that I usually use, but whatever. I take just a little, little brush like this. Um, just a little small, flat, rounded one. Oh, it's really stiff. And pick up some of the paint pot. And then I'm going to get a pen on there for this. Then I'm just going to start carving out the bottom of my brow. I'm going to focus. Okay. I swear that construction is so distracting. I'm sorry. And when I, once I have that like carved out, then I start using my brush and s pulling that product down. Um, just like that. And then I take my finger and I kind of diffuse it as best as I can. And then I take just a little bit more. That. Stop going out of focus. Take a little bit more on my finger and just apply that all over the lid as well. All right. And then you can do it on the other side. And also, if you wanted, you could go in and apply a brow gel if your brows are particularly unruly but my brows aren't really like that so this is my like finished makeup that i ended up with um kept it really simple all i really did was throw some mascara on some pink lipstick and I painted a bunch of freckles on my face. So yeah, that's about it. Um, if you want more of these, tell me. I guess. Okay, bye.